the supremacy battles between politicians in the county of Marsabit continue to cause havoc and degradation of unity among two main communities, the Baranas and Gabras. Since January this year, at least 93 people have been killed and over 2,000 heads of cattle stolen by attackers from the two communities. The hatred between the two communities that once lived together is so rife that even relatives who have intermarried no longer see eye to eye. Religious leaders, on the other hand, have tirelessly worked to bring peace, but their efforts are hampered by continuous attacks and a lack of zeal by security personnel to combat the attackers. For many years, Saku constituency, and like many other constituencies in the county of Marsabit, had been largely peaceful. Two main communities found here lived together, intermarried, took their animals to pasture lands together, and even carried out business together. But as times have changed, so too have the relations here. Since 2018, the wedge in relations between communities has grown wide here in Saku. Saku constituency is the main economic hub of Marsabit County. Marsabit town is found within this constituency and it made Saku area thrive, but not anymore. The communities that have changed the meaning of coexistence here are the Boranas and the Gabras. Interestingly, the two speak the same language, and their people have a striking resemblance in physical appearance. All those similarities are now slowly being erased by hatred, violence, and mistrust. In order to understand the brewing animosity between these two communities, I approached political leaders, religious leaders, and the locals. But I soon discovered that the head between these communities is deep-rooted, that it might just take decades to fix the issues here. Dido Rasso is the member of parliament for Sako constituency. He tells me that this Moyale to Marsabit highway has been used as a boundary by the communities. This is Jirime area, where on one side the Boranas reside, and the other side is occupied by the Gabras. Attackers from both sides have killed, maimed and stolen livestock from each other for the last two years. We are off to Kilta location. The vast land was once home to the Boranas and even Gabras. Both communities had thousands of livestock roaming the fields eating dry vegetation. But the attacks have forced many to abandon their homes. This Borana Hatsman is taking his livestock to graze, but we are told he is taking a very big risk. Two people were buried here after their homestead was ambushed. After the attack, no one wanted to remain here. The area MP says the skirmishes have been escalating slowly and now things have gotten out of hand. And every effort to recover the animals have been hampered, either by a lack of commitment by local security personnel or fear of making matters worse through retaliation. Those herding cattle here accuse the other community of causing mayhem, all because of one thing, land. Aruka area has also been affected. It is predominantly occupied by the Borana, but that has not always been the case. People from both communities used to live together here. Kwa zamani walikuwa na gabra na borana walikuwa wanaishi pamoja kama sebeji hivi. Sasa hiyo mambo ilitokea kwa sababu ya ardhi. Kwa sababu ya hiyo ndio mambo mengi ilitokea na sasa alianza hiyo gofu yote zilitokana na hiyo maneno ya ardhi. According to the locals in this area, 300 households used to live here. Only 20 households have now been left since January this year. The attacks have been violent, they say. But it is not only the Burana land that has come under attack. The Gabras too are accusing their neighbors of hatred, causing mayhem. 
This is Adi Huka area, a scheme that was started when the late Bona Godana was a minister for finance. The late Godana Egabra wanted people who could not afford to buy land and had either moved from remote areas of this vast county to have a place where they could call home. Every day there's fighting, day and night. We are constantly under attack. Every day the police come here, but they are not protecting us. They're just searching for weapons. According to the locals here, this village has also severally been attacked by their Borana brothers. When the county government was established, there was peace. But after the second county government came in, things have been different. In all honesty, we have no government. All our animals have been driven away. The attacks in the areas we visited are synonymous with a ping pong game. When one village is attacked, another will be ambushed in retaliation. As an outsider, I couldn't help but wonder why this has been going on for too long. Who is financing these skirmishes and who is benefiting? What good will come out of these deadly fights, especially for communities that are facing the same challenges when it comes to drought, lack of water, pasture and infrastructure? Locals are also blaming security officers for sleeping on the job and not dealing with the attackers once and for all. Wakati hiyo, sirikali akaleta hata ndege abolisi. Mimi mwenyewe nikiingia ndege nikitafuta gombe. Nikiona saa ile si naona gombe ile komanda ya polisi anaita sisi sasa sisi hawezi tafuta hiyo gombe sababu Amuri natokea juu. Political leaders, on the other hand, accuse each other of benefiting from these skirmishes. Religious leaders have continued to conduct peace initiatives, but they are running out of patience as the squabbles continue just days after meeting the communities. The leaders that the people of Maswa County need at every level are leaders with the human heart. Leaders who have humanity at heart. Regardless of which religion, regardless of which tribe, regardless of which region someone comes from. To partake in a fast dialogue, mediation, uh, to make a ceasefire, on but sila to make a chini sila have this idea. Na akuna mshindi katika vita. Those in the middle ground have various suggestions to end the violence, including forcing the warring communities to live side by side as they did before. Kama ni borana na rendile wanakosana, borana kumi wawekwa ndani ya rendile, rendile kumi wawekwa ndani ya borana. Hiyo ndiyo mimi maoni yangu suluhu ya vita kusimama itakuja kwa sababu. Hakuna mutu mugabra atatoka kuenda kupita ndani ya gabra mwenzake kuja kuhua hilo mborana kundani ya gabra. Na hakuna mborana atapita ndani ya mborana mwenzake kuenda kuhua yule mugabra ambaye hako ndani ya mborana. Itasikika haraka. The general election is fast approaching, and if these issues are not adequately addressed, political competition could just fuel more chaos. Should long-lasting solutions be difficult to come by, then children will continue being orphans, women will continue becoming widows, and the economic gains that were made years back will simply vanish, all because of greed, hate, and ignorance, some say.